One of the most common questions I've seen since the remastered edition of Crystal Chronicles released is, which occupation should I choose? Technically, you can choose any of the jobs and experience the game in its entirety, but some of them are a bit more important than the others. There are a total of 8 occupations for you to choose from when creating your character. Conveniently, that's the same amount of character slots you have per save file. These are Fisherman, Tailor, Miller, Blacksmith, Rancher, Alchemist, Farmer, and Merchant. While half of these offer items for sale or can craft weapons and armor for you, Miller, Rancher, Farmer, and Fisherman only offer food consumables that can be acquired anywhere in the game. Going forward, we're only going to be talking about Tailor, Blacksmith, Merchant, and Alchemist. The decision of which occupation to choose really boils down to crafting the Ultima Weapon and Force Ring. These are the in-game items that you don't want to miss, so let's go over how to get them. It's important to note here that you only get one of each of these scrolls per save file, so choose wisely which tribe's weapon you want to craft if you play more than one character. First things first, you need to create at least four characters when you start the game. You'll need a blacksmith, tailor, merchant, and most importantly, an alchemist. I recommend making your main character an alchemist as it'll require the highest production level and the most time investment to acquire the scrolls necessary to craft the equipment. While it's best to create your characters early in the game, you can start this process at any point, so don't worry about missing anything. You may be asking yourself, what are production levels? Every year that goes by in-game, you have the opportunity to set out with each of your characters and talk to their family, specifically the father. Doing this will get you a small amount of gill and usually an item, as well as increase that family's production level by one, adding to the available items for purchase from the merchant and allowing the blacksmith and tailor to craft higher level equipment. This brings us back to why I recommend choosing Alchemist as your primary character's job. In order to purchase the necessary items and to physically craft the equipment, you only need the other occupations at production level 3. That's only three in-game years of talking to the father of each family. You don't receive the scrolls from the alchemist father, however, until production level 11 for the ring and 12 for the weapon. That's a pretty significant time sink on any character you aren't playing as your main. If you don't mind setting out with an alternate character each year though, Merchant is a great option for your main character, as a high family relationship could save you some gill later. Something to keep in mind with Alchemist is the relationship of your family. Most of the time you want to max this out, as a better relationship means better discounts, but maxing out your relationship too early can be detrimental and keep you from being able to increase the production level. Do not reply to letters from the Alchemist family, even the siblings, until you have both the greatest weapon and Ring of Invincibility scrolls. Once you have both scrolls, the necessary components, Ultimite for the weapon and Dark Sphere for the ring, should be available from the merchant family for 50,000 gil each. If you're short on gil and haven't completed the princess's side quest, check out Batu's great video guide on the quest line for a whopping 100,000 gil. His video will be linked in the description below. Now that you have both Greatest Weapon and Ring of Invincibility Scrolls, as well as the Ultimite and Dark Sphere, all you need to do is take them and a couple Orichalcum to the Blacksmith and Tailor respectively to craft your new weapon and accessory. Ultima weapons are no longer best in game, as we have DLC and hard mode weapons available to us now, but the Force Ring is an incredibly useful accessory that keeps you from being stunned completely. This is something that even if you're not using the weapon, you definitely want to get this ring. So, on the surface, the choice of occupation seems like a harmless one. Now you know which families you need to have in your village and how to progress them to the point to craft one of the best weapons and one of the best accessories in the game. Happy hunting, and I'll see you in the next video.